was in that gym every single day because he was home a lot, didn't travel with the team as he redshirted. Uh, I think he's got a chance to be a, a, a multi-level player. Back from downtown, able to hit his first three of the year. Ali stepping out, back in, lost the ball. Great defense by the Hokies. And a rebound for Aluma. There's Beattie from the free throw line. Nothing but that. Actually, early in that first half where it seemed like Radford was playing so well defensively. Beattie playing well defensively, got the steal. This is Beattie. Ooh, nice little stop fake, and Beattie floats it home for a seven-point Virginia Tech lead. Boston College had good success just putting their head down, getting to the basket. How about a little put on the brakes and they'll fly right by? That's a Top Gun reference, Kevin. You weren't born yet. Spot up, catch and shoot, pure shooter. 20 points off of 11 takeaways. Aline with an answer. Naheem Aline, three for four from deep. Beatty looking to feed Aluma. Back out, Beatty for three. Yes! One point game! It's been so big. Once they get the switch that they want, they beat the post. Colin Gillespie has to show. Just show enough. Collins puts it on the floor. Comes to a stop, lost the handle, and it squirts out of his hands. Beatty and finds a cutting pencil. Makes the jump shot, and then pencil, good read. And I'm going to uh, revisit that preseason ACC ranking. Uh, they are going to be a very tough out, Virginia Tech. Use some ball fakes, be a little bit more patient. Hokies have not scored in the last six minutes. Hunter Couture trying to change it, and he does. A big time three. Jake Stevens on the drive, bodying up Keve Aluma. Stevens fading away, left it short. All the way up ahead to Radford, count it. Plus the foul, Tyrese Radford. Set up by Beatty right here. Heads up, one of the best assist guys in the ACC. Right away, you see the pace the Hokies like to play with, Dave. Penn State wants to make it attract me. Hokies want to make your work defensively. And if you want to know if Coach Ferry has these guys in line, turn on the tape of this game in the first half. This is a team that was itching to get back out there. It's almost one of those games where the Hokies had a blueprint to success, but everything got thrown out the door with that massive lead. Picky up 94 feet, man to man. Really tough in the half court. Beatty on the drive and got it up and in. See big man Sarvan and the Hokies come up empty. We won't see a Luma miss one like that very often. Louisa Beatty comes up with a steal. Nice little dish back and Beatty lays it in. Shot clock at eight. Beatty kicks it. Aline sticks it. Finland native Jesper Grandlin takes it right to the rack. And Longwood doesn't get back on defense, and the Hokies make him pay. Naheem Aline hammers it home. Here's Beatty trying to take it himself after the steal, and he draws the foul. Two guys who've taken the threes, Mutz and Beatty, are not the best three-point shooters on the Virginia Tech team, but here, the defense comes up to the tunnel. Rocking the rim, Hunter Couture flies to the hoop. 16 points off their bench, and Hunter Couture leading the way. Hokies lead by 11. I could go for some snow tires, too. <laughs> Tapped around, falls with Beatty. Great look inside Aluma there to throw it in. Aluma with only six points tonight, but he recovers and ten to nothing on second chance points, and they have an opportunity to do it again. Beatty, another great feed. Mutt drops the rim. Boy, and Carrier went real. I mean, he just took the ball and exploded by Aluma. On the defense and creating that opportunity for him with a good pass. Beatty 
Caught. Answers with a triple of his own to a piece of beat. When they get 10 guys practicing healthy, well, they have five top 100 prospects in the backcourt. They'll be dangerous. That's wide open. And that's been a Louisville problem early in the season, turning the ball over way too much. Beatty not known as a scorer, but he connects, and the Hokies have the first five. Got his hands on another one there, matched up with Wabisa Beatty. You started the night talking about that matchup as Aluma stuffs it over the top of Withers, and it's down to a seven-point margin. Well, Aluma working really hard, gets great position that time on Withers. Now six to shoot and works to work. Trey lost it to Aline, turned over. Aluma to Beatty, and here come the Hokies. Several opportunities there for the Blue Devils. Couldn't get anything to drop. Beatty running the point. Pull up from 15, and he sinks it. And that actually adds momentum in the favor of the Blue Devils now with an opportunity to make this a one-possession game if they're able to knock down a three on this possession. What a jumper and great defense there by Virginia Tech. The Hokies get Beatty. That's just a winning play. Wabisa Beatty was beat on that play but never gives up on it. Beatty inside 15, and he gets the friendly bounce. He's got a mismatch, the bigger Aluma, and it's the smallest guy, Beatty, that comes up with a steal. And again, how about uh, Wabisa Beatty being able to take on that switch? Cone for three, rattles it in. You don't see a lot of coaches doing that. I think that they get so dialed in. You see backdoor class. Seemed like it went off Jogo. They've got their stuff. It's just tough to hit. And Virginia Tech struggling right now. Shot clock winding down. Beatty, a prayer, and it goes. Ball in his hands. He just puts it up. Watch how Virginia closes out. They do an excellent job, not just being there on the catch, but having their hands in position to get that is an old-school V-cut. Yeah, right here, this is just a breakdown. Again, you know the shot clock's... Wide open. Beatty steps into it. Oh, we're heating up in Blacksburg. If you put a smaller guy on him, then he just goes inside, and with bigger covers, he'll take him out behind the three-point line. Johnson turning around. Beatty able to muffle that shot. The 2 0 lead is not going to stand, Brian. Aluma inside at Brooks again. Chance for an and one. Aluma continues to make plays inside for the Hokies. Getting him deep, a deep post, and again, being able to finish with a contact. That's one of the things that we spoke with Coach L. I have with no Chris Likes for most of the season has been able to be not only a shot maker, but the leader for, for Miami and coming up with defensive plays, too. Bamisil off the catch. First foul on Gak. There are only seven total fouls for the two teams that have been called so far in the game. Aluma into double figures now with 11. Was set up by Wong being able to pull two defenders on that penetration to the baseline. Beatty gets it to go. Brooks the big man with Beverly, Wong, Olani, and Magusti on the drive. Great defense by Beatty. Just play a game. Alvarado had it blocked. It was Beatty who made the play. Shot clock's down to six. Here is Pemsel. And now Beatty. Shot clock at two. What well, piece of Beatty? It's a big bail out at the end of the clock. And you talk about for a guy that doesn't score a ton of points. Yeah, that's really the only thing to say, man. And it's also impacted their defense. Again, another look that's wide open. They're just not communicating. Akebe Alumo. Try to beat this Virginia Tech defense down the floor and get something early. Jay, we are nine minutes into the game as Radford scores inside. And have had layups out of them. Jay, the freshmen have scored 23 of the 25 points for Carolina tonight. And Mutz knocks down a three, and he's got a dozen right now for the Hokies. The screen, and then he's going to pop out. When he pops back, Daron Sharp saves a couple of dribbles. Look how much room he's got to cover to get back out to that shot. You know, Kessler missed that second free throw, but Hunter Couture boxed him out on the first one. 
and got right into his body. You wonder if he was thinking about that a little bit. And another easy basket. Won't go down. But he's really struggled. Went one of eight in the first half. And he's their best overall player. Second team all-conference during the season. Turnover by Davis. And Radford's out ahead of the pack. Contact. And then off the turnover, he's just a... Ahead of the crowd here. Wouldn't count on the playground, but it does in the ACC tournament. <laughs> Lefty jam it at home with a.